obviously uh, holograms, it's the data issue too. We're not supposed mm -hmm. to change physically, right? And of course, uh, you know, um, as a human, I didn't get that memo. If you're, a, <laughs> as a hologram, I was not supposed to, my appearance is not supposed to age. And as a human, it's inevitable. So, and you have to do that thing with the, you either play a different character. I could easily play Doc Zimmerman again, because Doc Zimmerman is in the same timeline as certain of the Star Trek series. Um, or you could simply do, the, uh, you know, uh, to me, it's a funny idea. What I would find very funny is to have th the doctor and Zimmerman working together. L let's put it this way. All of your audience, think of this, whatever age you are, okay, let's say you're a 40 year old person watching. Imagine your 18 year old self or your 16 year old self working side by side with you during the day on some very critical or important mission. Your job was to work with your 17 year old self at age 40. Wouldn't that annoy the hell out of you? Well, I think there are a lot of comic possibilities if you can age down the doctor um, to have to do to do a scene with his now that there's a giant uh, a large age gap between the doctor who's 41 or 42 and his um you know and his late 60s uh creator in any case the answer is yes it, it's fun to revisit the character i'm really happy that uh kate is now talking openly about it now that they've Establish the precedent with uh, you know Star Trek Picard that there's a there's a there's a passion in the audience out there to see the legacy actors again um, in new stories mixed with you know with with um, wonderful younger new actors so I mean it, it's it's uh, certainly something I'm open to and the character lives on inside me.